Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft, where today, Windows 10 build 17063 for PC was released to Windows Insiders on the fast ring. A new public preview build has been highly anticipated for almost a month. Now, just before the holidays, Windows Insiders got just what they wanted with a great list of new features to play around with. We're always happy to see updates to Microsoft Edge. In 17063, the Web Media Extensions package for Microsoft Edge will be installed automatically. This means that various open source media content such as OGG Vorbis and Theora will be supported. Microsoft Edge now supports Surface workers by default. This is an interesting milestone for bringing the modern web to Windows. These new features can be explored by developers to bring a better web experience to users, improving performance when browsing offline or on a limited connection. Certain sites will now be able to work offline in Microsoft Edge to improve performance by utilizing locally cached data if it is up to date. Edge also has a new acrylic theme. Blacks will appear blacker and acrylics will be more transparent. The iconography also seems to have been shrunk down to give a more open feel. You'll also notice that there are new highlight and reveal effects across the taskbar and on the new buttons. Speaking of which, we're still watching the first phase of Microsoft's fluent design language take over the Windows UI. Touches of acrylic material and glowing reveals slowly making their way into apps and features across the system, and that continues now. Many elements of the Windows shell, such as flyouts in the taskbar, are being updated to a new acrylic theme. On another note, the network flyout on the login screen that's been the same since Windows 8 has finally been updated to match the new one found in the taskbar. To much delight for Windows Insiders, not only is the taskbar now made of an acrylic material, a new icon for TaskView hints at the long-awaited availability of a new feature making its way to Windows, Timeline. Delayed time and time again, it's been a while since Timeline was first announced earlier this year. This new experience combines your open apps from Task View with activities you were working on in the past. These activities include apps, but can also be specific documents, web pages, or in-app content. Scrolling down the list of activities, you'll be able to resume work sessions by reopening apps or documents into the state you last left them. You can expand the list of activities from a certain day, scroll back several weeks, or even search for a specific card. Activities are in the cloud. You will be able to view and interact with activity cards from all your Microsoft account PCs. Cortana will even be able to suggest content to resume across devices, much like how she does with websites. You can of course configure how this content is collected in the Windows settings under privacy. Cortana's notebook has been completely redesigned to a new card-based interface. The new lists and reminders sections are categorized under their own organizer tab, while the rest of the settings have been moved into the tab called Managed Skills. Cortana Collections is now merged together with lists on a single page. So you can see here all the different things that Cortana has collected from my web browsing experience, as well as a button to magically create a new list of things that I can write and check off and Cortana will keep track of for me. When My People was released with the Fall Creators update, it wasn't super flexible. Uh, with Windows 10 build 17063, you can now have up to 10 people pinned to the taskbar, as opposed to just 3. You can choose exactly where you want these people by dragging and dropping them, or by putting them into the overflow list. Inspired by the control panel, Windows settings has been almost completely redesigned in this build. The main page is a new layout that works better for the ever-increasing number of categories, and acrylic can also be found being used in the section lists. The changes go beyond just looks, however. All kinds of new features and advanced options are being brought up with this new design as well. Users with docks or high DPI displays might be familiar with the scaling issues many legacy desktop applications encounter. Apps that are normally able to scale properly to a high DPI environment might become blurry when using multiple monitors or when changing system scaling. While UWP apps handle these scenarios perfectly, you would have to sign out to resolve these issues with many desktop apps. A new setting under System, Display, Advanced Scaling looks to help fix this issue. If you turn on Fixed Scaling for Apps, a notification will appear when Windows detects apps that might be blurry on your main display. This notification will ask if you'd like Windows to try and fix these apps by restarting them. This feature will work with many desktop apps, but not all of them. 
Going to the keyboard settings under Time and Language, you'll be presented with a brand new keyboard settings page. Here you can view and install keyboards to your device independently of the display language. There are also many other new and updated features in the Windows settings and across the system. While I haven't been able to cover them all in detail in this quick build video, make sure to subscribe and check out onmicrosoft.com for more info. Until next time, thank you, goodbye.